What's going on today guys, Tomcat here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 3. Now, today we are back on the mainland, um, and actually, it's funny because looking over there at those mountains is making me think of Blizzard Mountain, but I don't know why, but regardless, we're in the Nissan Titan uh, XD Warrior concept. We're also going to be bringing out the Arctic Trucks Hilux later on, because I know we've done a battle between these two on the Hot Wheels tracks, but we haven't really done a drag strip shootout really i mean this was a runway shootout but still a top speed shootout between these two trucks and i think it'd be a really good one to do because this has raced a nissan gtr so like i mean, didn't you know it, it almost beat it but <laughs> um it's it's we've never actually put it up against any other trucks so we'll have it set down a speed and go it stops making power at about 3,000 RPM, so that's where I'm shifting um, to keep it in its power band, which is weird for Forza, because Forza isn't really... Oh, I tried to shift up again, didn't realize I was in sixth gear. But yeah, Forza, the, the, the system is a little iffy on the way diesels perform. I don't know, it's, it's almost like it confuses it for a car to be making power this far down low. And crossing the traps at 174.97 miles an hour, so basically 175 which is very fast for a truck. I, it's very fast, extremely fast. Um, and you know what? Just because we need to get to the other end anyway, and it would be it would be somewhat boring to go straight back down the runway, we're gonna take the fun way back, which involves jumping over every freaking dune uh, in between here and the beginning of the runway. And again, shifting up very early to keep it below or around 3,000 to 3,200 RPM, is weird because again like i said this thing stops making power after 3200 rpm i mean power just falls off it's a diesel it's it's a cummins diesel so you would have to expect that um and oh boy oh it's gonna be a roll like right there about like 2000 to 2500 rpm it's making peak power so it's like why not have actually for for future reference, I might put longer gears in this thing just to support that. But uh, now we're going to switch over to the... And again, like I said, this thing is fully built, 100% maxed out. Uh, we're going to switch over to the uh, the Arctic Trucks Hilux. The only difference between this truck and that truck, obviously besides, you know, the engine and the truck itself, that truck has much bigger tires. I mean, that truck has huge, huge tires. Come on, where's Toyota? There's Toyota. Where's my... There it is. Yes, there it is. All right, so here we are, finally, in the Hilux. And basically, I'll... You guys will not have seen uh, what happened, but I'll... Because I, I would have... Uh, I cut it out. But basically, what happened was... First of all, can I drive up on top of this Venom? I mean, I have huge tires. I just... Eh. Nah, it just spins. Damn, that, that's slightly disappointing. Oh, well. Um, basically, the... <laughs> um, the Hilux, I tried to spawn it in, and the game got stuck at the loading screen, and I just sat and waited at the loading screen, like, constantly, 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 and then eventually, eventually, I quit out of the game and loaded back in, and then it was... The, and then the game loaded back into the nearest outpost already in the Hilux, so it was weird. But anyways, now it's time to launch the Hilux and see what it'll do. Um, the power band for this actually ends at about 2,800 RPM. Makes about 920 foot-pounds of torque, so really revving it past 3,000 RPM until you get to sixth gear, there's no point. So we're in sixth gear now. I mean, let's see, what's it making? 917, now as you can see, as we're past 3,000 RPM, the torque figure is going down. Power's going up, but torque's going down. Let's see. 660, 661. Come on, 170, 171, 172, 173, 173. Dude, 173.8. Damn, these trucks are so close. These trucks really are so close. They're like, they're almost right on top of each other. And I was wondering if what the tests we did on hot we like on the actual hot wheels map i was wondering if those tests were gonna like show us any you know different 
uh, different outcomes than the tests we did here, like just in a normal drag race, because when we raced these trucks and actually did laps with them, they set down similar lap times. Whereas also now, obviously, they set similar speeds on the runway as well. So I don't know what it is about these two trucks, but they're always like they've always been super closely balanced. And I think that's super cool. But um, I, I think also, too, the I mean, it depends on which one you like better. I mean, I, I think at the end of the day, since this truck is only a tiny bit behind the Titan, you can really have whichever one you want and not really lose much performance from either truck. So really and truly, like it's it's all down to what you want at the end of the day. I think personally, like if I was going off road a lot, I would have the Hilux. But if I wanted like an all round badass truck that could tow, do some mild off roading like in muddy fields or something, and just be a really nice truck, I'd have the Titan. So I think, I think yeah, I mean they're very 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 close. They're very close on the runway as well as everywhere else, and I think that that's like. These two diesel pickup trucks are, and I know we don't have a Duramax yet. We're, well, actually, yes, we have a Duramax. We have the the, the sort of a Duramax, um, but we don't have like actual like Chevy Silverado with the Duramax in it. We also don't have a Ram with a Cummins engine in it. Um, but we we need those two. We we really do. We need those two. I mean, the thing is, we've got two awesome diesel pickup trucks in Forza already. I mean, like we covered them in this video, and I think this is this goes to show that diesel pickup trucks in her in like in Forza actually work. Uh, and and they like they actually work and there's no reason why uh, they couldn't add some more. So, I really hope they do and, uh, and that's what I'm that's what I'm really hoping is that they add some more in the future. And dude, a di a, a diesel truck DLC pack would be absolutely insane. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.